I hope you are all well and that you're having a super week. Today I'm going to be making this gorgeous sundress and I would love it if you could sew along with me today. So I'm going to be making version C and that's the cover version right here. But there are lots of different options to choose from with this pattern. So you can have a straight dress with straps, you can choose to add sleeves and you can make it straight or flared. So whichever version you opt for, you can sew along with us, but all you have to do is remember to stop at the appropriate steps. So I think this will make a fabulous addition to your summer wardrobe, should you choose to make it. And now I'm going to show you the fabric that we're going to be using today. So I'm going to be using this Minerva exclusive range, this Coast Chalet, in dynamic brush strokes. Gorgeous colours on this one. It's 150 centimetres wide, it's 100% viscose, and it's a light to medium fabric. And I think that's going to make a really eye catching dress. And also, we're going to be using some Minerva Core Range anti static lining. And this is available in 127 colours, should you wish to pick out one of the other colours instead. Now if you want to sew along with me, everything will be linked in a bundle below. So all you have to do is click on that link and you'll have everything that you need. So if you'd like to do that, you will receive the Simplicity Pattern. The Visco Shelley in dynamic brush strokes, some anti static lining, a matching thread, a matching zip, and some interfacing. Now it would be great if you could take a look at the Minerva Craft Club because with the Minerva Craft Club you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. So anything that you buy with us today, that discount will be included. You can also join our wonderful sewing community here at Minerva by creating a free account. Now with a free account you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world and share all your projects, notions, ideas, fabrics, share them all in one place. And this makes it easy for when you want to come back to a project later on or remember what that perfect fabric was for your next make. It's a great place to meet people who are like-minded, who love sewing just as much as you do. And it's all completely free. So why not go ahead and do that now and create a free account? It's really good fun and I enjoy sharing all my makes on there as well. Now before we begin, let's take our pattern and a tape measure and make sure that we check our sizing. So check that your sizing corresponds with the sizing on the back and don't just go for your standard dress size because these can vary. And it's always good to do this before you begin because pattern sizing can vary too. You also want to prep your fabric, so wash and dry it as you would normally. If you normally wash and tumble dry, do that, or line dry. Give it a press, and when we're ready to go, we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces. So we're cutting for version C right here, but remember, if you want to cut for any of the other versions, you can still follow along with us. Let's go and cut those pattern pieces now. Here we have our pattern pieces. So first of all, we've got our skirt front, and this is the front for B and C. This is your straight grain here, and you're going to cut two pieces. Make a note of the notches, and make a note of these circles here, because these are for your pocket placement. And on this pattern, we have got a 1.5 centimetre hem allowed. Here is the skirt back, again for B and C. You're going to cut two on the straight grain. And again, you're going to mark your notches and your circles for your pocket. Here we have the bodice back. This is a straight grain. You're going to cut two of fabric 
and two of lining. Mark the notches and the circles and also these markings here for your dart. This is your body side front. This is a straight grain. You're going to cut two of fabric and two of lining. Note your markings again. And this is the bodice front. This one you're going to cut one on the fold of fabric. Here is the centre fold. And you're going to cut one on the fold of lining. Here we have your pocket piece. So this is a straight grain and this time you're going to cut two in fabric and two in lining. Mark your notches and your circles here and here. Now this is your strap piece. So this one you're going to cut four pieces. This is the straight grain here and you're going to cut two pieces out of interfacing. This is the back interfacing, you're going to cut two of interfacing and this is the front interfacing, you're going to cut one on the fold and the fold is here. Now we're ready to begin making our dress. So first of all, wind half of your thread onto your spool and also check your machine needle. Now I'm using a standard needle, a uh, size 70 today. So you might want to play around with a few bits of fabric and see what's best for you but I find this is good with viscose chalet and first of all we're going to take our front pieces and our back piece and we're going to do some stay stitching along the top. So along these points, so along here, this is your front piece on the fold, we're going to do it all the way along this one. And also along this back piece here, well these two back pieces along this long edge. So that's 1.3 centimetres away from the edge and this stitching stays in place so this is just to keep it all stable. So that's what we're going to do first of all. Now we're going to join our side bodice to our front piece. So this is your front piece opened out and we have notches either side here. So we're going to match these up. So we flip this over and we match those notches first. So with your pins, make sure that you pin this point before you do the rest. Then you can pin it the rest of the way once you've got those key places in position. Pop the other side on and do the same on that side. Now we're going to stitch that in place with 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. <laughs> Take your pins out and adjust as you go, make sure that everything's still where it should be. When you've done that, you're going to press those seams forward. So give that a press on the inside. Then we're going to take our back pieces and we're going to create our darts. So my markings here, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm going to pop in a pin so that you can. There's the top, there's my marking for the point of my dart, it's just there. And then here, look, we have our notches that we made at the bottom, so we're going to bring those together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch from here to this point, coming off at a gradual angle. Back tack to begin. <laughs> to make it a nice gradual movement towards the point so don't take it off too suddenly or she'll get a bubble. And then we're going to knot those threads and 
and do the same on the other side and press that towards the centre back. Now repeat those steps on your lining pieces. So attach your side fronts to your front bodice of your lining and make the darts in the back lining pieces. Apply your interfacing to your back side panels, your front, and then you're going to stitch the back to the front at the sides here and here. So match your notches and then stitch that in place. When you've done that on both sides, you also want to join your back pieces to your lining. So again, matching the notches here. Now we cut four pieces for our shoulder straps. So two are going to be the bit that goes on the top and two will be underneath. So they will be referred to as facings. So on two of your pieces, you want to apply your interfacing. Then we're going to take one interfaced piece and one facing piece and with right sides together we're going to stitch along this long edge with a one centimetre seam allowance. Now you're going to do this at both sides and then turn it through and give it a press. Now when you've made your shoulder straps you're going to want to try them on your dress bodice because if you're like me and you've got small shoulders you may find that the straps need to hang down a little lower so you might want to test this first before you pin them in place. So we're pinning it to the outside like this, see mine's hanging over a little bit and also they meet at the front there so they're pinned to the right side that's the inside with the facing. So pin those in position, have a play around with them and see what works for you. Now tack your straps in place with a, a machine stitch. You can always come back and adjust this later if need be. So maybe don't under stitch after you've applied your lining. You might want to try it again and just check before you do that. So we're going to pin our lining all the way around our bodies now matching our notches and our side seams. Our centre front point here, I've also put a pencil line on my facing there, exactly where I need to pivot at that point between those two straps. So pin it all the way around and now we're going to stitch that lining to the bodice. When you've tried on your bodice and you're happy with how the straps are lying, then you can understitch onto your lining. Now make sure that your seam is lying that way. <laughs> go as far as you can on the inside, just a few millimetres away. Now we're going to take our skirt front pieces and we're going to join this centre front seam. So you want to match up your notches, pin that seam first of all, and then when you've done that we're going to open it up and we are going to apply our lining pocket pieces. So match up the notches again and also the markings here and here. So you had a circle on yours, I've done a little notch on mine so that they line up nicely. So we do that on both sides. So it's the lining piece on this front piece. And we're going to use the fabric piece of the pocket on the back skirt sections. So centre seam first of all, 1.5 centimetre seam allowance and then we're going to stitch on from here to here our lining pocket pieces. Now your pockets. Here 
here also you can turn it turn the pocket to the outside press your lining and your seam that way and you can understitch onto your pocket to keep the seams lying flat apply your fabric pocket pieces to your back skirt panels Place your back skirt panels on top of your front skirt with right sides facing like this and your pocket piece is facing outwards. So you can pin those together now, make sure that they're lying flat and even. Now we're going to stitch from the top of the skirt to here where that, our first marking is and we're going to back tack to reinforce. Then we're going to skip over this part, back tack to begin here again and then all the way down your side seam. When you've done that, you can stitch around your pocket edge and then either zigzag or overlock it if you wish. Just for now, move your lining out of the way. You're going to pin your bodice to your skirt with right sides facing like this, matching your notches, your side seams, these notches at the front here, and pin it all the way along. We're going to stitch that in place now. Make sure that you don't catch in your lining. Change to your zipper foot and apply your invisible zipper. So this is three millimeters away from the top here, just on your main fabric. So you've moved your lining out of the way. Now push your zip out of the way to one side and back tack to begin and sew down the center back seam. Now on the inside, I always prefer to pin this and hand stitch it. So you can stitch down it with your zipper foot, but I think the, um, the invisible zipper is already really close on this side. So we don't really need the lining to be as close as well. I don't think so anyway. It's just another thing to get caught. So I have it a little bit away from the zipper like this. Pin it all the way down and then I'm going to hand stitch that. And I'm going to do the same with the lining to the bodice here. I just like to hand stitch it, so pin it in position once you've turned up your seam allowance, you press it first and then pin it. So I'm going to hand stitch that now. Just hand stitching the lining to the zip and the waistline. So now try on your dress, I've tried on mine, make sure that it's the right length for you. And now we're going to hem it. So I've just overlocked around the bottom and I'm just going to give that a small hem now. So here is the finished dress. And I think it works really well with this fabric. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments along with any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. And remember, if you like and follow Minerva, you get more video content like this every week. And that includes sew alongs, sewing tips and advice, and also what's new here at Minerva. Well, that's all from me today, but I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Thank you so much for watching, bye for now.